So I am just wrapping my presents. It is Saturday and Rory has decided to help me. Um, yes, Rory, that's my wrapping paper. Molly's watching. So desist immediately. Rory, stop. Rory. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so, um, ever wondered what I do with all my Amazon gift bags? Well, I've kept them, and I'm going to use them whilst I do my wrapping at Christmas. And by the time this vlog goes out, Christmas will have been and gone, um, so I don't really um, care if anyone sees the presents. So I have, like, a, like a big present pile behind me. Um, I have some wrapping paper here with some lovely little, um, some lovely reindeer on with their antlers. And I have some traditional kind of like brown packaging paper as well and some gift tags. So I shall be doing my wrapping. <sighs> so Rory has had to go out. He just literally couldn't handle all of the paper and ribbons and string. Whereas Molly is being a really good girl. Um, yeah, she's handling the paper really, really well. So uh, big thumbs up from me, Molly. Hello, it is me from the future. Um, I just thought I would insert this so that you understand the next series of clips. So the next series of clips is basically me setting up for my Christmas speech. Um, so just take a look at the footage. I think it's interesting. There you go. Okay. A baby was born in a stable over 2,000 years ago. That I wish you a very happy Christmas. I wish you a very happy Christmas. Okay. <clears throat> a wise man once said, I wish you all a happy Christmas. Hello people, um, it is Saturday evening, I've just finished my live chat, I've finished my weekly vlog premiere and I've just done some mad cleaning, I've changed the bed, uh, cleaned the kitchen, all kinds of things. Anyway, I am rewarding myself, it is, um, it is 2am in the morning. I am, re I am rewarding all my hard work today with some Sainsbury's Taste the Difference Rich and Smooth Belgian Chocolate Tart with some cream. Yum, I will show you once I've got it all set up. Here it is, in the bowl, in my Wedgwood bowl, I'll have you know. Um, I've just licked my fingers and it is, look at the glitter, it's all glittery, look. That is gorgeous, so without further ado, Let's pour on the cream. Oh, generous helping, please. Oh. Oh, divine. Oh, double cream, by the way, darlings. Um, Elmley double. None of that single muck goes on my plate. Double all the way. Double, double, darling. Hello, my lovelies. Um, I started my vlog last night, didn't I, on Saturday, and I forgot to do a proper intro. My goodness, what am I like? Okay, so it is Christmas Eve, and I'm just out getting some last-minute groceries from uh, a smaller supermarket within my local high street, because the big supermarkets are going to be rammed. Uh, I went over the weekend, and all of the trolleys were taken from the trolley bays, the shops were absolutely rammed and also decimated. You could hardly find anything. So I'm just going to get a few little bits and bobs, little few bits and pieces from the very, very small supermarket, but I will find what I need. And yes, it's Christmas Eve. My goodness, Christmas tomorrow. Can you believe it? Are you all ready? Or actually, you'll be seeing this after, won't you? So I hope you all were ready and I hope you've all had a fabulous Christmas. Yay! It's Christmas Day and here is the Christmas table. I am around at my mother's house, which is exactly next door. Uh, my house is on the other side of the wall. And this is our Christmas table. It is only set for three this year. Um, my grandparents couldn't make it down, so 
we have just been to take up dinner to them um, and we've come back down it's not that far away to have dinner at home uh, this is actually a German um, candle light it's some kind of German pottery and we bring it out every single year for the Christmas table here is my mother's Christmas tree uh, but yes it is just the three of us this year so it's a little bit different it's the smallest family uh, Christmas dinner I've ever had yes that's better just put the lights on a little bit um, yeah this is um, my mother's and father's formal living room a collection of Santas why not um, aren't they adorable I like them um, yeah so there's our tree again it's not normally in that position it's normally in the orangery room uh, but because my mum and dad had some new furniture they decided to put it in here um, beautiful decorations and presents that we still haven't opened yet under the tree I got my mum the birdcage umbrella um, in silver and I had those um, the candle that you've just seen the snowman um, I had that years ago when I was a child that's actually my decoration um, let's go through into my mother and father's kitchen and look at some other decorations this we call the twirly thing because for obvious reasons it's twirly and it dangles and it's decorated a bit like a curly whirly christmas tree um and we've had this years since the 90s i do believe actually uh, but yes we call it the twirly thing and i think every parent has a picture or a photograph um of their children in their house don't they Um, you really are having behind the scenes access the gravy on the arger cooker. Uh, it's an electric arger, actually. Well, gas on the top, electric oven. And here it is, Christmas dinner, with pigs in blankets and all the trimmings and parsnip puree and, of course, a Christmas cracker. Have you got your drink? Do you know the Americans don't know what a Christmas cracker is? Don't they? Don't, they don't have them. Because when I said about Christmas crackers on one, my... on one of my um, videos, they said, what's a Christmas cracker? And right. they want to see what one is. So afterwards, can I borrow one to show yeah. them yeah. what one is? <laughs> on Christmas Hello, um, I thought I would check in. It is Christmas Day. Um, this is my Christmas outfit, by the way. Um, maybe I'll give you a better look after. But yes, this is my, my shirt and my white t-shirt that I showed you before. Um, I'll just show you like this, it's okay. Uh, so it's my check shirt um, with my corduroy trousers. Let's see if we can get those up. They are very lovely. Um, so yes, Jason is still at his parents. I've come back. Uh, from my parents who live next door, for those of you who don't know. I watched the Queen's speech with my parents and I came here, uh, back to my house, and I did my live premiere of my own Christmas message, so I really do hope that you have enjoyed my Christmas message uh, as much as I enjoyed making it and live premiering it, because I do love a live premiere. Now, I have piles of presents all around me, um, on the floor and everywhere, so I will be doing a kind of present haul, I will show you what I've had for Christmas um, in this vlog at some point, so um, look out for that, or rather I should say stay tuned for that. I am now waiting for Jason to come back from his parents, um, and then basically we're going to sort everything out, tidy up the living room, um, and then settle in for the evening. And we do always go to my parents to have a little bit of uh, kind of a light Christmas Day buffet, um, so we'll be doing that later. Um, I may check back in depending on what kind of time I have. I do like to spend the bulk of the rest of Christmas Day with Jason. If I don't check back in with you, I will see you on Boxing Day. So I hope you've all had a really Merry Christmas. Hello, so I am going to do a bit of a presents haul and I would like to start off by saying how lucky I am. I have so much stuff there is there are piles of stuff over here piles of stuff over there um i would just like to say a big thank you to all of my family um and in particular my parents and jason and my nan 
So let's, without further ado, do a little bit of a presence haul and I'm going to be fairly speedy because there's quite a lot of stuff um, to kind of get through. So um, I'd love to do a really big, deep um, insight into each item, but I'm going to do a little bit of a quick whiz through. So without further ado, let's start with this lovely belt, which I wore on Christmas Day. Um, it's actually a dense belt and it's got, um, it's really thick quality leather with detailed stitching uh, and it's reversible so you kind of like just switch the um, clasp around or the buckle around uh, which is lovely so I love my new belt and that was from Jason. And these are what I picked for myself from Marks and Spencers they are um, corduroy trousers which I wore on Christmas Day from Marks and Spencers I also wore this shirt here, which I kind of got to wear a little bit as an overshirt. So uh, again, Marks and Spencers. Uh, Jason got me a new shaver, or rather beard trimmer, which is lovely. So um, I shall be all trimmed up, nice and smart. Oh, a new gimbal, <laughs> a new gimbal for my filming, which, um, See, I do a lot of filming now on my phone. Now, this attachment here will not fit a phone on, so I went on to Amazon. Amazon is brilliant, isn't it? Um, so, it's a Gorilla Pod by Joby. They do an attachment for phones, so I can use my regular camcorder on this, and it's brilliant. You can adjust it and wrap it around things so it grabs onto things. Um, so, brilliant for filming, and that was from Jason. Oh, by the way, the clothes were from my nan. This Prada, my goodness, I love the bear, look at the bear. Uh, this is Prada and it smells incredible. And it's a, it's a gift set with, I think you put um, some of the eau de toilette into here and then, and then you can take it around with you. There's also some shower gel and of course the lovely bottle and it smells divine. And that was from Jason too. Now, Jason knows that I do lots of handwritten planning and notes, so I had a new planner, which is by Collins. And um, yes, it's got all the sections that I need so that I can plan all my royal dates. How cute is this? It's a Thornton's reindeer. He's very cute. Okay, there's lots of chocolates in here, which I probably aren't going to show, but um, I had a Behind the Throne book. Um, this book is about the Koh-i-Noor diamond. These are all from Jason, by the way. And the quest for Queen Mary. Oh, Jason also got me a new notebook because like I said, I do lots of handwritten notes. And the pages are kind of blue lined, kind of royal blue. And the paper is very high quality. Ah, oh, and of course some gold coins with chocolate in. Jason also got me a lovely new hot water bottle with lovely little fluffy balls. I love them. Um, it's so soft and furry. Mm, it's lovely. I love this hot water bottle. It's gorgeous. Jason also got me a new um, gimbal thing for the car, which I will be keeping in the car. I've had two new scarves, which is this one's obviously a plain brown. This one is a check, uh, which I love. They are very, very soft. And these are from Jason too. My dad got me a pair of Timberland boots. Uh, these are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, they're kind of like that material that's a bit like a mesh. Um, I love them. So yes, my feet are well treated. My parents also got me a pair of boot slippers and these are by Mashulu. Uh, and they are very soft and comfy inside. I have been wearing these already. I had some Barber Club face moisturizer from Jason along with a new shower puff, which I desperately needed, and some um, L'Oreal Barber Club Beard and Hair Styling Cream. So there we go.
Okay, I picked this out for myself from my nan. It's a really soft loungewear um, hoodie top and it's, it's the Marks and Spencer's David Gandhi range. Um, if you don't know who David Gandhi is, um, yes, that's David Gandhi. Mm. Saying no more. Jason also got me because he knew that I enjoyed my advent calendar so much. So I have two boxes of Thornton's chocolates, which are going to be in my tummy very soon. My friend Sean got me this amazing Buckingham Palace interiors book, which is absolutely fabulous and has given me lots of decorating ideas for the house. I can't afford the gilding. I had a lovely pair of, uh, well, a, a set of three men's socks. There we go. Okay, this is fabulous. I love him. Um, if you've watched Fantastic Beasts and where to find them, you will know that this is the Niffler. Um, he's delightful. And Jason thinks, I'm a little bit like the Niffler. I put some coins in his, um, in his tummy. Um, he zips up. He's, he's actually a coin purse. Jason thinks I'm a bit like the Niffler because I like shiny things and tiaras and that kind of thing. Um, so yes, this is apparently me. Okay, this is so sweet. Um, Jason knows that I do lots of handwritten notes, so he got me a new pen. Um, it's a Parker fountain pen, which um, is really, really smart, but that's not the best bit. The really sweet, you probably can't make it out. Um, hang on, let's see if I can get it. Okay, can you see just here where my fingers are? It says Royal Reviewer. He's had it engraved. I really don't know if you can see that. Um, can you see? Royal Reviewer. That is so sweet. Um, so I will be getting a really nice pen case to put this in. And then I'll be using it to do all my notes. I have had some Molten Brown body wash off my parents. Jason got me some hand cream. This is by Champneys which is a really nice brand here in the UK. I am always on the lookout for some good hand moisturiser. And he got me um, some Lab Series Electronic Shave Solution, which is obviously to go with my new shaver. I had a big chocolate lint bear. And isn't the tag adorable? I had another Molten Brown set off my parents. Um, that's basically what's inside. Uh, they are divine. They smell absolutely gorgeous. And I've got the Crown Series 1 and 2 on Blu-ray DVD. I already have Series 1 anyway, uh, but obviously it came as a double pack. And um, Season 2. <gasps> I love it. I can't wait for the third series. <sighs> okay. I always use this face wash. It's the Lab Series for Men Multi-Action Face Wash. And I've probably used it going on 20 years now. Again, we have some more Molten Brown off my parents. Uh, this is rather lovely. Um, it's kind of like a Recharge Body Scrub Bar. Um, it is gorgeous, I've had one before. And there we have a really quick whiz through my Christmas gifts. Didn't I do well? Um, so thank you to all of my family and of course Jason for these amazing presents. And I hope You've all enjoyed Christmas and I hope you've had a fantastic time with your friends and family because of course that is what Christmas is about. It's not about the presents and what you receive. It is about being with your friends and your family. Hello, um, I have just finished cleaning out my uh, bathroom cabinet which I do every year at Christmas when we both get loads of new toiletries. Um, so I've just taken everything out, thrown stuff away that are old, cleaned the shelves and put all of our new stuff in. So, <laughs> just a little quick tour. It might be interesting, I don't know. Uh, but we have our aftershaves at the top, on the top shelf. These to the left are mine and these to the right are Jason's. Um, on the next shelf, again, we both have our half. These are mine, uh, those are Jason's. And of course, on the bottom layer, we have mine and Jason's. And these are our everyday things that we use every single day. We also have our other cabinets for things that we don't use quite as often. And of course, cleaning things. Hmm. 
and that my nans and my nan cannot make the bed because somebody is on the bed. Hello Rupert, how are you? Nice to see you. Yes, can we make the bed please? And just when you thought it was safe, it is not, uh, because I didn't realise that day number 24 had a different trouble. So, um, I've saved it. Let's have a look. Where's it gone? Uh, here it is, I've got it. It is a hazelnut slice, an enhanced recipe of best quality roast hazelnuts in creamy milk chocolate. Why not? Ooh. Okay. Here we go, a hazelnut slice. I like it. <laughs> that one was nice. Um, the hazelnut slice was delightful. And I hope you have enjoyed for the last time, Thornton's Advent Calendar. Okay, so it is finally time to close out this week's vlog. Um, I hope you have enjoyed it, and of course I will be back next Sunday for the premiere. Also, make sure that you watch the return of my weekly live chat, Talk of the Crown, which will return on Saturday the 5th of January 2018 at 10pm GMT as always, so I do hope you can make it for that and I also hope that you have enjoyed my series of live Christmas pop-up chats over the festive period. So please give this video a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, it's very important and also hit that notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video and yes you've guessed it, it's that time. From me in Shropshire, goodbye. Cover your ears. <laughs> I'll protect you from the hooded claw Keep the vampires from your door
Thank you.